We're going to take a quick look at Screens, which is an awesome VNC app for the iPad. I'm just going to add a new screen here. And I can select from nearby computers. There's my laptop over there. And it enters all of the information for me. I'm going to enter my password, so, you know, don't look. We'll just go look at that iPhone for a second while I uh, input my top secret password there. Okay, we're all done. And all we need to do is save. There it is. Blank screen. But when I click on it, it authenticates and there is my desktop. So here's what's really cool about screens aside from, you know, being able to use the general gestures to move around and, you know, do what do whatever you want. Um, it just kind of works how you'd expect it to. Which is hopefully very well. But what's really neat is you can use multi-touch gestures to move around. Now it can be a little slow at times because we are doing this over a network, but as you can see I am scrolling here with two fingers. It's pretty great. Now as for other stuff you can do, it's really easy to bring up the keyboard and you always have this row down here, if you can see it, of simple command keys. You can move around very easily and quickly switch over to other tabs um, in your browser or whatever you're doing. But then you also have right up here another button that brings up this panel, which gives you a lot of really quick, easy buttons. Like if I wanted to minimize Twitter, there it goes. Um, so overall, it's just very simple, but it works intuitively in how you'd expect. And then you have a lot of great shortcuts to make it work. And then when you're done, you just turn it off, and your screen is saved right there. You can add as many screens as you want. The only downside is that screens is pretty pricey. Right now, it's about 15 bucks. But as far as paid VNC iPad apps go, it is by far the best experience.